What's going on guys, it's your boy Zero Capital bringing you some team deathmatch on the map Hangar 18. And since this map is quite new, I'm going to give you guys a general map breakdown, my thoughts on the map, as well as tips and tricks on how to do better on this map. Now let's get right to it. Firstly, there is a main hangar area, which is what I'm looking at right now. We call this the Hangar 18 area, and it has a Blackbird in it. Part of the Blackbird's outside, part of it's inside. And the rear of the Blackbird, where the engines are, are attached to a platform that run the entire length of the hangar. And this platform goes to two two-story buildings that are inside the hangar. And we're going to call these buildings 18 West and 18 East. The rest of the map is laid out in a very simple fashion. The hangar is the central portion, and around it is a circle of buildings. Some of these buildings have two stories, some of them do not. And there's two other notable areas of interest. One being the nuclear power plant area, which is like the Area 51 Easter Egg area. And this area has a second story as well, which has like a metal catwalk. And this catwalk leads to a big window. So when you're running up to the nuclear power plant, be careful to check your lines of sight. As well as the catwalk up top, because people are going to be up there. And another spot is the radar dish, which I just passed. And this radar dish, you can climb up there as well, so you want to check your lines of sight. And coming up here on the outside area of the hangar, you've got the Blackbird outside and these barrels here. The barrels on, are on both sides of the Blackbird, so you can use them as a head glitch area if you're trying to take B-Dom in Domination or just to, you know, kill a ton of people on Team Deathmatch. And if you want to control this map, you want to win this map, you want to take the Blackbird like I'm doing here, I killed a guy in 18 West, I killed a guy below, I got my own Blackbird and now I walled that guy. And nobody knows I'm really up here. I'm using the Blackbird as cover, abusing the hell of my silencer and just picking people off. Getting my dogs, which are quite good in this map. This map is not air support friendly. There's just way too many buildings and it's hard to get your chopper gunner on when people are just running inside buildings. Anyways, now I've talked about the map, giving you guys a general description. I'm going to say... I give this map an 8 out of 10 in terms of it being new, and it's actually pretty fun to play. I uh, haven't really run into too much camping, even though there is, like this guy right here on the sniper vantage point or overwatch position, and also this guy back here who's just sitting in the fucking corner. I don't know. Why? Why are you playing the game like this? I just don't know. Someone please explain to me. Alright, general tips for this map, you want to run around in a circle. Stick to the edges of the map. That way you can eliminate much of the possibility that you're going to get shot by a camper wall. This time right here where I died, I didn't check my corner, so that was my own fault. I didn't follow my own advice. But you do eventually want to make your way to the Hangar 18 building. But check to make sure that it's actually safe to go there before you go there. And if you do go there, control the Blackbird and you'll get a lot of kills. Guaranteed. So with that said... I've given you guys a general overview, tips and tricks, what have you, and now I'm going to get into story time. So you guys have seen my last video where I did a 54 and 1 domination game on grid. I gave some college shenanigans stories, and you guys really liked it, so I'm going to continue upon that. So this story is about my female RA from my freshman year. And she was kind of a mix between Jennifer Love Hewitt from The Party of Five and... I guess uh, Kimberly Joe Johnson, who was the Pink Ranger from Power Rangers. So she was pretty good looking. Now what happened is, if you get locked out of your room at night, you can go to this office if it's before 8 p.m. to get a spare key. If it's closed, you have to actually bother your RA to use the master key to open your door. So my friend down the hall, he got locked out. And he was a little bit drunk. He was like 3 or 4 in the morning. A little bit belligerent. So he's like pounding on her door, trying to get her to open it. And she wasn't there supposedly wasn't there and he's like man she's always there where is she so he put his head to the door and he was like listening to the door and he heard some very let's just say noises of a sexual nature like moans and stuff like that and he was like what the hell and you know eventually he had to keep knocking the door because he wanted to go in this room and go to sleep so she comes to the door she has her robe hella tight wrapped around her her face is all red and, you know, she unlocks the door, and he comes to us, wakes us all up, and he's like, dudes, I think she was totally playing with herself. And we're like, no way. RRA is good looking. She can get a dude to do it for her. That's, we didn't believe it, right? 
So the next day, when we're all together in the lounge, she walks by. He pulls her into the room and asks her point blank, like straight up to her face, were you playing with yourself? And she gives him this look, face turns beet red, and she turns to walk away. Then she turns back and goes, how did you guys know? Because we we're all like looking at her. And he tells her, we heard you through your door. And she's like, no way. And she just like runs off. So next time, gets locked out of his room. And there's a vacuum cleaner noise. And we highly suspect that, you know, she's doing the same thing, but she's using that to cover it up since it was like one in the morning. Who the hell vacuums at one in the morning? We're on to you. <laughs> so she comes to the door, face is a little bit red, unlocks his door and, you know, we didn't say anything. And when he first, you know, caught her the first time, he looked into her room. So there was like no dude. He looked in her room again and there was no dude. So that's what had to go down. And the next time he pretended to do the same thing, get locked out. And she was like, who is it? And he told her a name or told her his name. And she was like, fuck off. And the vacuum cleaner just kept going for at least another 20 or 30 minutes. And then she comes to our room and goes, oh, does so-and-so need their door unlocked because I'm about to go to sleep and I can take care of it now. And my roommate goes, how was it? And she just turns beet red and doesn't say anything. It's pretty funny. Um, that's the story of how we caught our very good-looking female RA touching herself late at night. Anyways, I end up winning this game, Team Deathmatch, Cujo's, getting that snack on that ghost camper in the corner right there. We win 7,500 to 4,000 something, I believe. Yeah, 4,800, and I end up going 43 and 1. Thank you guys for watching, and stay tuned for more. Peace.